Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com in today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we continued our module on how to play stock trades with a look at the most basic type of order traders use to enter and exit the market, the market order. In today's lesson we're going to continue this discussion with a look at an order that gives us more price certainty than a market order, the limit order. So let's get started. Unlike a market order, which is sent to be executed at the best price available in the market at the time the order is placed, a limit order is sent to be executed at a specific price or better. The advantage of a limit order is that you have price certainty, meaning that you know the worst price where your order will be filled is the price you specify in the order. If the market moves so that you would be filled at a price that is worse than the price you've specified, then the trade will not execute. If, however, the market moves so that you would be executed at the exact price you've specified or better, then the trade will be executed. To see an example of this, let's log into our Thinkorswim paper trading platforms and place a trade using a limit order. If you've not done so already, I encourage you to hit the pause button and register for a free Thinkorswim demo account using the link above this video so you can follow along as well. Once you've logged into the platform, let's go ahead and type the ticker symbol for Citigroup into the symbol window, which is the letter C, and then hit enter. This will populate the trade tab with the quote information for Citigroup. For this example, let's say we think Citigroup is going to trade lower, so we want to sell 100 shares of Citigroup stock to participate in the move. Because we are looking to sell, this time we will click the bid price, which will bring up the order window, just as happened with the market order that we placed in the last lesson. As you can see this time, however, it is populated to sell instead of buy because we have clicked on the bid price to open the order window. As we are executing a limit order this time, you can also see that the order window now has a price which is fluctuating up and down in lockstep with the bid price for Citigroup in the market. If you remember from our last lesson, when executing a market order there was no price here and the reason why is because a market order is sent to be executed at whatever the best price is in the market. As we just discussed, however, a limit order is set to be executed at a specific price, so the Thinkorswim platform defaults the limit price to float up and down with the bid price if you are executing a sell order and the ask price if you are executing a buy order. If you would like to try and improve on the current price in the market by waiting for the market to move in your favor to execute your trade, you can use the arrow keys beside the price to set whatever price you would like for your limit order. When moving the rate, you will notice that the padlock under the limit column moves from open to closed, which simply means that the platform is locking the price you set for your limit instead of letting the limit order price float with the market, which is represented by an open padlock. For this example, let's set the limit price a dollar above the current market price, which you can do by simply typing it in. this, go ahead and click the confirm and send button and then the send button in the confirmation window to place the order. Once you do this, you should see the order show up in the orders window as a working order, which means it is waiting for the market to get to your price before executing. Remember that when placing a limit order, it will only execute if the market is at the price you set or better. This means that a sell limit order will execute only if the price you set is at or lower than the current market price. Conversely, a buy limit order will only execute if the price you set is at or higher than the current market price. That's our lesson for today. In our le next lesson, we'll look at how to close trades using a straight market order 
a stop order and something which is known as a stop limit order. So we hope to see you in that lesson. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And good luck with your trading.